What's up guys, this is Victor from Vix Vlogs and in today's video I'm going to be talking about what major you should choose as a pre-med. And the answer to this question is any. Honestly, it's any. Why do I say it's any? Well, to be a pre-med you aren't defined by your major, but more so what you do to get accepted into medical school. And most medical schools, especially in the US, only require three things of you to get accepted. Most require one year or two semesters worth of your general biology, one year of general chemistry, one year of organic chemistry, one year of physics, all of these classes of course including the labs, and generally some kind of English or humanities class. Um, as well as you do need to take the MCAT, which we all know is the Medical Comprehension Assessment Test, and you, of course, you need a degree and a degree you can pick whatever degree you want so therefore you can pick whatever major you want as long as you have those prerequisites you have your MCAT and as long as you have those courses that I mentioned your biology your general chemistry organic chemistry physics and a humanities you're you're good to go schools will put emphasis on that they want you to take classes such as biochem genetics general microbio immunology but that is up to the individual medical school so the bigger question is then why do most people or most pre-meds think you have to major in the biology or any of the hard sciences? Well, when you major in biology, you end up taking those classes such as general chemistry, organic chemistry, and biology. So your classes and your prereqs, prereqs for medical school, they overlap. So you're in a sense saving some time, but you're really not because let's take for example, if you major in Spanish or English, these majors are known to have a lot of free electives. So these higher level science classes that you're taking already to get into medical school could substitute as your electives. And if you have a major such as humanities or uh, linguistics or any, any type of uh, major in the arts and letters, not saying that they're necessarily easier, but I'm saying that the, hard, the sciences are definitely harder. People generally have a harder time understanding them they take more work and another thing about the sciences is say you are a biology major as a biology major I can personally tell you I've taken over eight eight ten labs and labs are only one credit and they labs take up a lot of time I mean a lot my general microbiology lab took up more time than the three credit lecture did so what exactly is the best major you can pick if you want to get into medical school so I did a little research and I went on the AAMC website and found a chart that correlates the number of applicants with the number of matriculants, which is the number of accepted medical students, with GPA, MCAT score, and majors. And interesting enough, for all you biology majors out there, including myself, biology isn't in even the top three of all acceptance rates by major. The highest acceptance rate by major was actually the humanities with 2,001 applicants and 971 matriculants. That's a 48.53% acceptance rate as opposed to a bio major whereas 25,666 people applied, only 10,550 were accepted. That's a 41% acceptance rate. That's a 7% difference. Just just there alone. The second highest acceptance rate was for math and statistics majors, where 387 applicants applied and 183 were accepted at 47%. The third highest acceptance rate was in the physical sciences, so your chemistry and your physics. These, for this category, 4,966 people applied where 2,308 got in with an acceptance rate of 46.48%. I'm going to post the uh, table that I found in the description below so you guys can see that. Not only did math and statistics majors have the highest mean cumulative GPA, but they also had the highest mean MCAT score, scoring in at a 33 average, which is not bad at all. So with all that said and done, now you have something to think about. You do not have to be a bio major or major in any of the hard sciences to get into medical school. And that's been proven by the medical, 
by the AAMC statistics, which I'm going to post in the description below, like I mentioned before. So what should you major in then? Major in something you like. If you like Spanish, if your major is, if you're interested in anthropology, if you're interested in physics, major in those. The, the key to being a good candidate honestly comes down to your GPA and MCAT. Yes, extracurricular activities, research, and clinical experience are important, but the two deciding factors that medical schools look at generally comes down to your MCAT and GPA scores. So if you pick a major that's too hard for you, such as physics, just because you think it's going to be good and you think they're going to, and you think that the committee is going to decide, oh, well, he majored in a hard science, he got a 3.4, that's not a big deal because it's a hard class. No, that is not the case. The higher your GPA, whether you major in basket weaving or physics, does not matter. Or let's say for a Spanish speaker, or a French speaker, or any kind of linguistics, if that's your passion and that's what you like to do, not only are you going to be a better candidate because you're going to be cultured, you're going to be able to communicate with your patients in that language of your choice, but it also sets you apart. You're not going to be one of the 23,000 bio majors who decided to take the straight and narrow path because they thought, oh, well, that's what John's doing and that's what Susie's doing. No. They decided they're going to take the less traveled path and it worked for them. Do not pick a major because you think it's going to look good. Pick the major in which you can get the best grades and the major which is going to motivate you to do the best. College is the four years in your life where you should choose something you like and are interested in learning, something that will captivate you, something that will motivate you to do better. Medical school, everyone is taking the same classes. You've all gotten to the same step. It doesn't matter if you were an English major or a biology major or if you came from MIT or Harvard. You're going to learn the same curriculum throughout the U.S.